inside the boat with the old canopy down and now I have to start stripping out all the old wiring disconnecting the uh, solar panels take my lighting out of here and I'm going to have to reinstall that in my new canopy That 120 pound canopy is down. I wasn't sure how that was going to go, but uh, it worked out pretty good. So next, uh, I'll be moving the uh, the new canopy up. This will go up next, and it's only 66 pounds, so uh, that should be okay. Success. The new canopy is up, the framework is up. Uh, I need to uh, get it attached to the linear actuators today and uh, also I want to put the lighting on while the canopy is, or while the canvas is off. I think that would be the easiest thing. But we might get some rain later so I better hurry. Well, I've got the canopy frame up and pinned. It took me a long time to get that uh, just balanced just right. I've only put one screw in per bracket uh, until I get uh, everything working fine and then I'll put the second uh, screw in. Uh, I'm now going to put the uh, canopy over it because it looks like rain and actually it's been sprinkling a little bit so I don't want to get the inside of the boat wet. And the canopy is snapped in place. Looks pretty good. I'm going to have to take it off uh, next nice day in order to install the lighting system on there. I want to attach it to uh, the center bar uh, on the frame uh, at the run the wires along the top edge so I'll have to snap the uh, canopy off and also I want to test it with uh, before I put the final bolts in because I've only got a single bolt in each each corner um, I want to raise it up make sure it goes up and down fine then I'll put it in the, the bolt in uh, right now I'm using number 8. I might go up to a number 12. There's the canopy raised up on the linear actuators. Um, it's looking pretty good. Actually, I've got more head clearance than I thought. I can actually lower this by about uh, minimum 3 inches. I got the guy wires up on the canopy. They seem to work pretty good. Um, I could tilt the angle. Everything works, seems to be working fine. So next step will be to uh, start mounting the solar panels. That's going to be a bit of a, a challenge. Um, I'm going to have to put them in a very specific arrangement to make them fit. So I made some cedar uh, stiffeners. Um, they're going to go on the center panels that I uh, will be mounting and I've reinforced the whole area with some fiberglass tape. Uh, so you can see I've got one strip. Um, I've gooped it on. That's a, a very strong glue. Um, I want it uh, gooped on the one panel and here is my neodymium magnet 
on the one corner and I have one on the other corner. So what I will do is when this is dry, I'll do the other side. But when I mount this <coughs> panel on the uh, canopy with the magnets, the next one to it, I'm going to just put a regular bolt in here, so no magnet, because there's no room for an extra magnet, uh, a bolt, and I will add some silicone along there. So silicone's not as strong as goop. So at the end of the season, if I want to detach the panels, I could uh, run a tool under the one edge and pry away the panel quite easily from uh, with the silicone side. The goop side would be much stronger, and I'd like to keep this piece uh, associated with the uh, uh, the center panel. That's my thinking. We'll see how it turns out. I might have to add some stiffeners, maybe in the middle. I don't know. I won't know that until I get it up and start playing around with them. So the first panel is done with the stiffeners on it and uh, I'm going to be trying to install this uh, panel right now with uh, using magnets. Well, I have the pa panel put in place and uh, one magnet is attached to this and that's nice and solid. Of course the, the, the canopy lifts up and down but that's okay. I'm going to put this one uh, for this corner so I'll reach under and it snaps right in that's solid it's not going to move anywhere and i will put two in from uh i have to go inside the boat to get the two in the back and this should be solidly in place and it's not shifting around at all it's attached to right to the canopy all right, I'll go and put the other two on. Well, three of the panels are mounted. I still haven't siliconed them together. I'm just going to uh, place them where they should go and uh, make some adjustments, and then I'll silicone them this afternoon. Right now it's only like plus two Celsius, so it's a little chilly for siliconing. This one, I'll move it. Okay. Very, very, very powerful, and you have to be careful with these. Also, they're uh, brittle. You uh, don't want to drop them. You could shatter them. And then all I have to do is just kind of fish around here, and oh, there it is. They uh, they really hold well. Uh, of course, I haven't been out in the water yet. Um, I'll show you the top side uh, connection. This is my final solar cell uh, position that I have. Anyways, here is the magnet right there and the bolt. If I take that magnet off, there. So I took it off on the inside and now I can lift it up. Put it down and I'll put it back in place. There and it's solid. Along the edge I added uh, just a little bit of trim uh, for a stiffener because uh, I didn't want it to sag too much on the canvas. Uh, now water will build up on the canvas uh, pooled underneath the, the panels and I just uh, tilt the whole canopy and the water drains off. 